How do mathematicians show the location of an object in space? When people design cities, they need to think about where houses will be in relation to schools and libraries. How do they describe these things so that it makes sense to other people? In this lesson, you will learn the parts of a coordinate plane by looking at a model. Let's review. You already know that number lines show the distance between numbers. You also probably know that there are two kinds of number lines, horizontal and vertical. On both number lines, I can show how far away 5 is from 0 by counting the spaces between 0 and 5. So on my horizontal number line, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces between 0 and 5. And on my vertical number line, there are 5 spaces as well. If I place a horizontal number line and a vertical number line on top of each other, so that they intersect at the zero point, I will create what's called the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane, formed by the intersection of a horizontal and vertical number line, allows mathematicians to see where objects are located in space because it describes movement in two different ways at the same time. The zero point, where the horizontal and vertical number lines meet, is called the origin. Each number line forms what's called an axis. The horizontal number line is called the x-axis, and the vertical number line is called the y-axis. Mathematicians named each number line so that they could more easily describe movement along each one in space. The horizontal number line, or the x-axis, describes movement horizontally, or from left to right, as a distance from the origin. If I want to show where something is along the x-axis, such as the star, I count from the origin, or the meeting place of the two axes, to that location. In the case of this star, I have counted five spaces to the right, from 0 to 5. The vertical number line, or the y-axis, describes movement vertically, or up and down as a distance from the origin. If I want to show where something is along the y-axis, such as this star, I count from the origin, again the meeting place of the two axes, to that location. In the case of this star, I have counted five spaces up from 0 to 5. In order to show the location of an object in space or anywhere on the coordinate plane, I have to describe that object from the origin on both the x and y axis. This star has a horizontal and vertical distance, so I need to describe both. This is different from a horizontal or vertical number line alone because the coordinate plane can show movement in two directions instead of just one. So if mathematicians want to show the location of an object in space, such as where a house is in relation to a school or a library, the look, they look to the coordinate plane and describe the location based on its distance from the origin on both the x and y axis. In this lesson, you have learned the parts of a coordinate plane by looking at a model of a coordinate grid.